Hello guys, my name is Noel and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I want to show you how you can create Facebook ads and Instagram ads for your e-commerce business. I'm labeling this for the e-commerce because if you want to seriously do e-commerce, all right, you must be running Facebook adverts or Instagram adverts or any social media adverts. So that is why i'm making this video because i want you to run adverts so you make sales this period so most times when we tell people about e-commerce they they think we just uh, we are just um, talking of him um, you buying products and going to your whatsapp and spamming everybody on whatsapp um begging them to come and buy your product but that's not what we are talking about when we talk about e-commerce we are talking about the real e-commerce all right those people who are spending money running advert to get sales fast all right so we are not on whatsapp begging people to come and buy because these guys on whatsapp are not even our um, target customers so we are using adverts to get to the right people because we have right people for everything so you use adverts to get to these very people that you want to get to so you are not on whatsapp um begging people who don't know what you are selling to come and buy it it's not it's not going to work that way all right so in this video i want to show you how you can create an advert that is going to help you sell before we begin like this video and um, subscribe to this youtube channel if you are not yet subscribed and first before you begin or before we begin or before you start creating adverts you must have um, a product you want to sell you don't need to have them physically but you should have an idea of what you want to sell so i'm assuming that you have an idea and you have the creative and um, your primary test so now you are coming to the serious end of the business which is creating your facebook or instagram advert so whenever we talk about facebook we are automatically talking about instagram because both platforms are practically the same thing and then they share data so you can from here run an advert straight to instagram and um, have it um, running on Instagram or across every other Facebook properties or if you like Meta these days we call it we are trying to we are getting used trying to get used to call it Meta but um, all of the Facebook company all right so now we are here this is the ads manager if you do not know how to get here you need to go to business.facebook.com that is the business end for advertising and most of the adverts you see come from they come from here so you need to get you need to come here so once you come here you you have an interface like this so i do not have any adverts here because this is not an account i use for adverts all right so we come we need to create so you click on create and um, it's going to give you the campaign objectives for what you want to optimize for you see one of the mistakes people make when they write when they try to run adverts is that they choose the wrong campaign objective and these these objectives are here to help you fulfill or to help you hit a particular goal the goal you want to reach so all of these um, um campaigns they have what they serve so this brand awareness as it says here it just shows you as to people who are most likely to remember them so we don't really know why they want to remember them but that's why we are they are going to see this advert all right so we have reach you just show us to the maximum number of people i don't th i don't think there is any clear difference between these two i don't know if you know you can tell me in the comments of in the comment section of this um, video and then um, if you have any questions you can equally leave them in the comments of this video i always forget to say this in my videos but i answer questions a lot so if you have any questions you put it in the comment section i'll answer you all right so now this is like the three stages of um, human interaction before people get to do anything all right so this is what these um objectives are for so let's say for instance you just meet in person you don't really know them so that's the awareness stage all right so you just met for the very first time you don't know so at this point you are not actually expecting people to buy anything so this is the awareness point they are just getting to know you all right so you just telling them my name is noel all right they just know you so you start discussing you start conversing and then this is where the engagement come in 
all right you start engaging you push them you push them as traffic to maybe your business your your social media your website wherever so they now begin to know you so you are now um discussing all right and they now begin to consider maybe um these guys are good let's work with them or this product is okay let's buy it this this um this service is going to help us let's opt in for this all right then this is after the consideration stage you come to the conversion stage this is the point where they now begin to take action where they are expected to take action all right so i'm just giving you um this breakdown so you are, you understand what you are doing because most times when people run out by they complain that they don't get results it's true that you cannot get instant results it's not magic but you have to get your campaign objective correctly you have to get it right all right so now for the purpose of e-commerce there are two ways you can do this or oh, there, there is two ways i like to do this all right especially if you are targeting nigeria or the african market all right because when you sell e-commerce product there are some things that you need to put into consideration and that is the mass appeal because it is the public that are going to buy it's not you who is going to buy all right so there are two ways you can do this you can either run an engagement campaign first and then transition to um, a conversion campaign we have no business here because we are selling a product all right so um we're actually selling a physical product that's why we do not have any business here all right so you can either run a conversion campaign straight or an engagement campaign so depending on what you want to do you can create an engagement campaign and then later you duplicate and create a conversion campaign that works too or if you if you if you are creating a conversion campaign you need to have um, a website so that you can optimize properly but if you do not have a website you can use messages all right so what messages will do for you is that people will send you messages they will send these messages to your whatsapp or to your instagram or to your messenger or even to three of them at a go all right so if you do not have um, a, a website and you cannot run a conversion advert you can do this all right this this is usually expensive but you should be able to see some results so for the purpose of this video i'm just going to create an engagement campaign all right and after that you are going to create um a conversion campaign so i'm assuming that you do not have a website and um let's do engagement so we select our campaign objective and once we select a campaign objective we need to optimize what we are looking for so now we we are, we are looking for post engagement we are not outrightly looking for people who will buy at this moment so we are looking at post engagement or page likes or event responses so we want people to um engage with our posts and then we click on continue all right so here you are going to name your campaign you can name it whatever you want you can name it whatever you want for best practices you have to name it in a way that it's easy for you to to go through and understand the campaign you are seeing because when you start running adverts it's going to your your dashboard is going to be busy so you need to have a clear knowledge of what you are doing so selected it as um, I've just named it a testing for the purpose of this video. So you can decide to use your campaign objective on, turn on your campaign and budget optimization on or off. I'm going to turn it off because we want to use ABO for now because we are starting out so we want to use ABO. So now you this is your ad set name. You can equally rename it but I'm just going to leave it. But for best practices you have to rename it so let's just do the right thing now i'm just going to name it testing ad set blah 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 testing ad set all right so our ad set is where we do our targeting and then some of the informations that we need to give to to facebook to help us um deliver our advert so here now you can select your budget so this budget this account is currently in naira and that's why you see the naira is here automatically so this is a naira account so if you have a dollar account your your um your budget is going to appear in dollars so you can put any amount you want to put so for the purpose of this video i'm just going to say three thousand daily budget so we want to pay facebook three thousand naira daily for helping us show people these adverts all right 
so you can decide to make it a daily budget or a lifetime budget but we are sticking to a daily budget so you can set the start dates when you want this advert to start if you have a specific reason for um, planning this advert before time you can set it as you want so um, when the time comes it runs all right or you can just leave it to start when they approve the advert this is how i leave it i want them to, i want it to start on it the moment they approve the advert so now we you can equally set um, an end date when you want this advert to stop running it's optional again i just let it run and then i turn it off myself now we are down here where we do our where we select the audience we have um I'm, I'm assuming we do not have any audience planned out so i'm just going to we are just going to create a new one so this is where you set your location so you can edit your location and choose by state by um, city by towns or wherever you want so you have to first select if you sell a physical product you have to know that selling physical products across borders will attract a lot of um, obstacles like delivery and all of that so you would want to select people who live in a particular location that you want to target and not people who have just been in and out of that location unless you have a special means to get it across to them so you can now decide if you want this advert to reach the whole people in nigeria or you want it to reach people in a particular state so right here you can select the state you want you can select lagos you can select abuja you can select wherever you think your customers are the states where they are or the towns where they are so for the purpose of this video i'm just going to select abuja and lagos and then we'll be ready to just move on now you can we we now have that set now you can come here where you have the age you can select the age where the age where you think your your um customers or people who are going to buy from you the age range they fall in so you can keep it from um depending on you must have done your research if you sell a product you know the people who need this product so you know the people who need this product if you sell a product or you render a service so for the purpose of this video i'm just going to keep it at them um, 25 to 55 so yours might be different all right so we're just going to keep it this way for the purpose of this video so here you select the gender if you think um your product is just for women you check women if you think it's just for men you check men if it is for anybody at all you let it be for everybody so now this is where you choose your demographics your interest and your behavior so facebook gives you the option to target people based on their interest based on their behavior and based on their demographics so when we talk about interest we talk about what people are interested in what we talk about behaviors we talk about the kind of behaviors that they exhibit on facebook platforms on yeah on facebook platform so the the demographics is like um they are where they belong the kind of things they do all right so you can actually target people three this this um three um, options so let's say we we sell um a product that caters for people who have um um restaurants or eating spots so you just come here and let's say we just type restaurant restaurant so as you can see it's going to give us options and from here if you look down here you can see that we have these things as interests all right we have these things as interest and then sometimes as you can see this is um, a, a a demographics all right and you can find behaviors this is um a behavior these are for empl employers all right so that's actually what Facebook allows you to do. So let's say we want to target people who are interested in restaurants. So these are people who have, um, through their interaction, have shown interest in food and drinks and restaurants. Just like Facebook is telling us here that um, these guys, they have expressed an interest or they like page pages that are related to restaurants. All right so you can select that if that's how you want to do your targeting if you want to seek for suggestions you can come here when once you click on suggestions facebook is going to give you 
things that has um, related to restaurants. So as you can see from here, we have food and restaurants, food, eating, foodie, local food, dinner, fast food, cooking, cuisines, hotels, and all of that. So for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to leave it at just one of these targeting, this one, and we are done. All right, so you can exclude people if you don't want people, if you don't want everybody under this category to be the ones here, you can exclude them. So all you have to do is come here where it says exclude and you can now exclude. You can, let's say we don't want to, we don't want people who um, own this restaurant. Let's see if we can find restaurant owners restaurant owners so we don't want people who own this restaurant to 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 um to see this our advert let's see if we can find an option like that so as you can see we have them and here it's it's a job title or as an employer or as a demographic so we don't want restaurant owners to to see this advert so once you add it that way these guys are not going to see this advert all right so you can narrow through that way or you can narrow through other behaviors like engage shoppers and the rest all right so down here so we are we are practically done here all right so down here now this detailed expansion what it simply means is that if you turn this on you are telling facebook that okay if you know people who do the fall they would like something like this but they don't fall under here Please, you can equally show them this ad. So you are giving Facebook the permission to go outside your targeting to get you results that they think will be good for you. So if you do not trust them a lot to do that, you can turn it off. But if you think, okay, fine, do it. You can just um, leave it on. But I'm just going to turn it off. And from here, you can select the language, but I just, I don't even touch anything there. All right, so you can do your optimization and delivery, blah, blah, blah. But again, I don't touch anything there all right so now let's proceed so we come here where it says the placement now if you leave this at, at um, automatic you are giving facebook the power to help you place this advert anywhere they think is best for you all right so it is automatically recommended all right so like it, it says here it's it's automatically selected and facebook recommends it so it says once you use automatic placement it's going to put this advert across all facebook um, platforms where they think it would be best for it but if you do not want that if you just want the advert to be at a particular place on a particular platform you now come to manual so i know you're wondering which one is best all right so you can decide sometimes i just like to keep um, some of my my adverts on just facebook and not even instagram sometimes i keep them on instagram and not even facebook so once you are looking at um, once you come here you can see that um, it's selected facebook has automatically selected these ones we cannot uncheck them that means we don't want this advert to go to the facebook audience network we want this advert to run on just facebook and instagram and within this these two platforms you can come here and you uncheck them uncheck other places on the platforms you don't want it to show like this is a facebook marketplace and this is the facebook fee, um, video feeds and instagram explore let's say you just want this thing to be on just the facebook feed and um, the instagram feed so you can you can just check these two if you come down here you can see in stream you can uncheck 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 all right you can decide the one you think is perfect for you and um You'll be ready to go so now what we have done is that we have um removed every other placement except for just the news feed on on facebook and the news feed on instagram so we just have two placements all right because that's what we want to do so we are practically done here we are done at the ad set level so you go to next you click on next And this is the ad ad level. This is where we we put our our what's it called our our ad creatives, our primary tests, and um, our URL. All right. So here you 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 have to select a page, and the page that has an account. All right, that has an account that is connected to 
to Instagram. This, this, yeah, this should be connected. So you come here, you select the Facebook page. So by default, all the page you have on Facebook is going to pop here. All right, it's going to pop here. So you just select the one you want. All right, so I'm just going to look for my um, personal page. I think it should be here. Um, it's not there. Okay, let's just work with this one. All right, so you select a Facebook page, and if it has an Instagram account attached, it's going to um, automatically pick out the Instagram account. If it doesn't pick it out, you have to select it. If it's not there, that means you have to connect an account. So if you do not connect an account, this means this advert is not going to run on Instagram. So down here, this is the ad setup. You can decide to use an existing post from your Instagram account or from your Facebook um, page and use it to run this advert. Or you can just create the post that will just be used for the advert. This means that the post you, you create, let's say if you come here and you say we want to create this ad, that means you are creating a fresh and this post will not be shown it will not display on either your facebook page or your instagram feed but people can just see the adverts but they cannot find it directly on your page all right so you can choose that or if you want to use a post you already published on either the page you can use the existing post so when you, once you select a use an existing post it's going to ask you to select this post so if you've not created a post, you come here and create the post. All right. The difference between this one and using the, the create ad is that if you create this post, it's going to be published on your page and your um, Instagram feed. But if you use this ad, it's not going to be published. So those are the differences. So we just want to select a post and then you can come here and um, pick a, a the post you already published so this is on facebook you can go to instagram and select these are the posts on instagram so you can select the one you want all right so but i'm not going to use any of this we want to create a post so we are come we are going to use the create ad so now they are going to tell us to select the media we want to use all right the media we want to use if we want to use a video or an image so if you want to use an image you should have your images ready all right or your image ready or if you want to use a video better this depends on what you are selling all right if you sell products that need people to see a video to see how it works then a video should be better for you and if your product is about images or you think images we we send the message out better you can use image so you just select say we select a video once you add a video is going to bring you to the account and then you can select the account you can select the video that you want so this one is called is on your facebook account and if it's not there you can just click on upload and it's going to take you to your computer and then you you just upload them all right so now i'm just going to select um any of the video i find i find here so I'm just going to select this watch I sold some time back and then replace it. Alright, so we are done. We don't want to edit anything there. So we have um, a creative. As you can see, it's going to show you the, the um, this is a preview of how it's going to show. This is um, um, Instagram. This is Facebook and this is Instagram. So this is how it's going to be showing on both platforms. Alright. So this is where we put our primary test. The primary test is what people see before they see your advert or what they see together with your advert. So this is where you are telling them about this product and they should buy it now. Buy now um, the best blah, blah, blah. So you already should have this written out. All right, the best smartwatch for this and for that. All right, you should have this written out and you can equally put a link to your website here. All right and if you don't have a website i already made a video on how you can create a free e-commerce website using google sites for free so i will link it in this video and below this video i'll put it in the description of this video so you can check it in all right so this is now our i'm just going to call this our primary test where you should have something better than this all right so now this is a call to action button we want these people to buy now 
all right or shop now blah 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 or get uh, more this thing all right but let's just use shop now because we are trying to sell a product so this is where you put your url this is where you put the website link or your landing page link or your sales page link if you want to use whatsapp this is equally where you put the link so people can reach you on whatsapp so you have to create a short link for your whatsapp so all you have to do is go to um you can go to um wa.link wa.link and then you can generate a simple a short url for your whatsapp so this means these people can send you messages on whatsapp without having your number saved all right so you just come here and um down here you just put your number and it said it's going to generate a link for you so once you generate that link that's what you are going to use and paste here you can paste it here all right but this is not um we don't want them to send us a message on whatsapp so i'm just going to put my website um link here so i just type goodnoel.com all right so this is going to be our url so if you come down here you are going to see that it's showing all right so this is um that's my website now we practically have everything set that's all we need and we are ready to go and you cross check after cross checking and you think everything is the way you want it to be you come here and you hit publish all right so after publishing your advert is going to go to review so facebook is going to review your advert to see if you're not violating any of the advertising policies and if you are not they are going to approve this advert sometimes this um, the review takes less than five minutes sometimes it takes us as, as um, much as even 24 hours depending but 24 hours is frankly too much but before um just so you know it can take um a few minutes or even hours for them to approve it so after approving it your advert will be ready to run and people can see it and engage with it and reach out to you if they think your offer is good so this is how you create an advert for your product i hope you like this video if you like this video you should give me a thumbs up so that other persons can see this video and it can help other persons grow their businesses too and um, yes that'll be all for this video i'll see you in the next one thank you for watching my name is noel bye bye